Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I'm going to give a brief explanation of the hero's vampirism skill. The six heroes with the vampirism skill are Dorian, Kai, Arachne, Ishmael, Cleaver, and Galahad. Of these six heroes, Dorian is the only one who can give his vampirism skill ability to other heroes. Basically, the two heroes before and after Dorian are each given the vampirism skill by Dorian. Thus, a hero with the vampirism skill granted by Dorian can be identified by the color of his feet, which are pink. Even if Dorian is defeated in battle, the other heroes fighting beside his body can continue to use their vampirism abilities. This means that Dorian's criteria for granting vampirism abilities to other heroes is only those heroes who are always standing by his side. For example, as shown in this image, if Chaba pushes the Dorian team backwards and all members of the Dorian team are crowded together, they will all benefit from the vampirism skill, regardless of the order of their heroes. If you push the enemy team to the edge of the screen during combat, Dorian and the other heroes may be too far apart to benefit from the vampirism skill. Therefore, during combat, the environment in which Dorian's vampirism skill is applied to other heroes is constantly changing, and heroes positioned in front of or behind Dorian may not be able to activate the vampirism skill. If you look at this image from past videos and see where Dorian stands compared to other heroes, you can easily figure out which heroes work well with Dorian. The combination of Orion, Dorian, and Helios is known as ODH, an acronym for hero, and is the most famous team formation that uses vampirism ability. I'll discuss other heroes' vampirism abilities. The vampirism skill is the ability to self-heal health based on the damage you inflict on your enemies. In this image, you can see a percentage in the vampirism section, which means the ratio of health that increases when you heal yourself to the damage you inflict on the enemy. For example, if you deal 1000 damage to an enemy, Kai can heal to 1100 health and Galahad to 450 health. If you watch this battle scene, you will immediately notice that even if you attack an enemy while your health gauge is full, the green number indicating the recovery of your health will not appear. The 115% vampirism ability is reasonable considering Dorian is a low attack healer, but the 110% vampirism ability is a very powerful self-healing ability for Kai, a magic-based DPS. The battle scene is quite unrealistic, but as you can see, Kai's 110% vampirism ability is such that he can function as a Kai tank. Kai's first skill throws all enemies into the air and activates Kark's third skill, so the combination of Kark and Kai works very well together. Furthermore, Kark can use his second skill and Kai can use his vampirism skill to self-heal his health, allowing him to persevere even without a healer. Now, Kai is a hero whose special is classified as Grove Keeper, so if he fights alongside Alviner, he will benefit from the doubling of all health restoration effects for the 4 seconds that Alviner's third skill is active. However, even if you have a team of Kark, Kai, and Alviner, it is not a powerful team formation because only Kai can create synergy with Alviner. However, if Alviner and Kai fight together, Kai's ability to recover his health will improve dramatically, so if you are interested, you may want to try raising Alviner. Let's take a look at the verification results. This image shows the data comparing the results of a battle with Kai alone and with Galahad alone. As you can see, Kai has regained a lot of health, but Galahad's vampirism ability is low at 45%, so the ratio of health regained to damage dealt is not visibly good. This is one of the reasons why Galahad is considered a subtle hero. As I always say in this video channel, Ishmael and Galahad are heroes tuned specifically for towers, so it is highly unlikely that Galahad will be active in Arena and Guild War. In this video, I briefly explain the capabilities of vampirism. Arachne, who didn't appear in this video, is another excellent hero who can be quite tenacious, as her vampirism skill is 80%. The vampirism skill heals itself in proportion to the damage done to the enemy, so to use a hero with the vampirism skill, it is important to increase his attack power. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.